Hello. Today I will be covering the steps required to complete a field-by-field -field plan using either the Advanced Variety Placer or the Place Seed tool within Pioneer's Field 360 Studio software. The first step is to open Field 360 Studio software on your computer. After the software opens, navigate to the operation which you wish to create a plan for and select the correct crop year. After you've selected the crop year, Navigate either to the operation or to the field level, depending upon which uh, of the products you want to use. There are two options within the seeding portion of the Pioneer Field 360 Studio software. There's an option called Advanced Variety Placer that some of you may remember as map seed products from the past. And there's an option called Place Seed Products. You can see in this example that Place Seed Products right now appears to be grayed out in this example. That is because to use place seed products I have to be at the field level before that tool will work. So if I click on a field, I'm going to zoom to that field and now if I come back up to seeding, place seed products will be not grayed out anymore and will be a, a link that I could use. Many times, I think some of you will want to start with the advanced variety placer. And when you select Advanced Variety Placer, the first thing it's going to do is search for existing proposals. So you need to wait until the searching for existing proposals uh, goes off of the screen. And if you have done an existing proposal on an operation, this can take up to two minutes in my experience for that to go away. So be patient and wait for the searching for existing proposals to go away. You can see here in the background that it's searching through field by field and by crop to see if there are any existing proposals that already existed for that operation. Once that has went away, now is when you can start by selecting the products that you want to use for this particular operation when you're creating field-by-field -field plans. Select the crop that you would like to choose products for. Come up to the button that says Select Products and click that button. It's going to bring up the Select a Variety window. The first thing you have to do is select the manufacturer. This is a big drop-down list of almost all of the manufacturers that exist. The fastest way to get to Pioneer, for instance, is to type on your keyboard, Pioneer. And it's going to quickly sort to Pioneer for you. You can click on that or hit the Enter key and it'll sort to just the Pioneer varieties. Similar, when you're searching for a particular variety in the filter, if I wanted to add 1197, I type in 1197 and it sorts down and filters only to the varieties that contain those characters. I set the default rate that I want to use for this hybrid at this stage. So now you can see that 1197 CHR shows up at a default rate of 35,000 seeds per acre below. I continue to add products in the same format until I get the list of products that I want. When I'm done with corn, I can switch over to soybeans. Again, add the Select Products button. Choose my manufacturer. And once again, can pretty quickly and easily add in the products that I want to use on this proposal. After you have selected the products that you would like to use for this field-by-field -field plan, the next step is to assign products to the fields. In the example operation you see ab above, some fields have a crop zone assigned, which is why they are orange in color. Other fields do not have a crop zone assigned at this point in time, so they have no color associated with them. For this step, assigning a crop zone is not required, but it can be done using the assign, a crop, assign crop zone button located here in the Advanced Variety Placing tool. 
the button right next to that is assign a product to a field operation. And when you assign a product, that will also assign the crop zone that goes with that product. So in this case, I come down below and I select the product that I would like to put on a field. So if I want to apply 1197 CHR to that field, I select 1197 down here. I select the assign a product to the field operation button. And I'm going to get crosshairs then when I come up onto the fields and I simply click on any field that I want to assign 1197 CHR to. I can change products. Still have my crosshairs. Come back up and assign 1151 to that field. Switch to 993AM1 and come click on this field and now those four corn fields have products assigned to them. I can switch to soybeans and use the exact same process. We've got 19, P191001 selected right now. Select the fields that I want that product assigned to. Change products to 35T58R and continue assigning products to fields. This is an example of how to use the advanced variety placer. And at this point in time, all of the corn and soybeans have been placed for this product based upon the default rates that were listed here below. You can adjust individuals by clicking on the selected field tab and it's going to show you the specific field you have selected and if I wanted to do a different rate for a field I can come in and edit that rate for this particular field simply by making the change right here. Once you have created the first run of your plan you may need to make edits at that point in time or perhaps at a future date. When you reload the advanced variety placer there are a few ways to make edits. First, below where you're showing your products by clicking on the plus sign here you will be able to see any fields that have that product assigned to them. You can also use the select a field button. Go up onto your map, click on a field, and the tool will show you what was placed upon that field and you can delete that product off of the field at that point in time if you desired. We also have the ability to place push pins. When you're on the selected field tab, you can use a push pin to mark a product location or to unmark a product location. So you can drop push pins on the field showing where to plant a product, especially if there were more than one product. Suggested method for placing more than one product on the same field is to do the place seed products tool versus the advanced variety placer tool. The two tools can be used in conjunction with one another. The advanced variety placer tool is a great way to initially assign broad scale products or whole farm products uh, to get a lot of acres covered and a lot of fields covered quickly. Place seed products is a good tool to use if you're going to be placing more than one product on a field or if you have a specific number of units of a specific product that you want to place on a field. For instance, a new R5 product where you have been allocated a certain number of units and you want to give a customer 6, 12 units of a product uh, versus a certain number of acres, you have a number of units that you want to place a product. So if you're finished with the advanced variety placer tool, there is no need to hit the save button. You can close out of that and it will save your progress. If there was a specific field that you wanted to make a change to, you can click on the field level and again remember when we're dealing with the place seed products tool you have to click on the field level before that tool will show up in your seeding tree. Click on the field in your tree and then come up to seeding place seed products. And you can see that immediately place seed products knows that this field has already had P1197 CHR assigned to it at a seeding rate of 35,000 seeds per acre. If I wanted to add another product to this field, I can do that relatively quickly and easily by selecting the crop as corn. The tool will initially default to putting Pioneer as the product. Uh, you can select another brand, but it does default to Pioneer as the initial product. You can select another product to go on this farm as well. 
You can select the seed treatment that would be going on this on this farm as well as acres or units and then use the calculator. So here would be a place where you could come in and you can tell it that there are going to be three units at a seeding rate of 36,000 seeds per acre. And the tool will calculate for you how many acres are going to be planted with those three units. In this particular case, where we had already assigned a product, it does not automatically delete the acres off of that product from this field. So if you wanted to make that adjustment, you would want to come in uh, and perhaps just subtract three units that you just applied to the rest of the field off of there. Again, calculate and it will change the acres for you here. You do want to save proposed products within this tool to save what's going to happen on that field. Once you have completed the seeding plan for a field, farm, or operation, you'll want to print a book or PDF of the plan that you have created to give to the customer. When you go to File, Print, and Report Books are where the reports are located. Before you do that, though, it's important to check what you have selected in the hierarchy tree on the left-hand side of the screen. If I have selected the field, then when I print the report book, I'm going to get a report book that contains just that one field. If I select the farm, I'll get a report book that shows every farm or field under that farm. And if I select the operation, I would get a report book that showed everything for that entire operation. In this instance, I did everything at the farm level for this example, so I want to select the farm level. Many times you're going to want to be at the operation level. I'm going to go to File, Print, Report Books. Again, that was File, Print, Report Books. You will see that there are many choices to choose from, from the report books that come up. The most frequently used report book for field-by-field -field planning are Planting Plan, and planting plan no soils. The same map, one that contains soil type information and one that contains no soil type information. I'm going to select planting plan no soils and come up and hit the run button. I can choose what I want my output to be. And I can hit OK. Now it's going to build my report book one field at a time. Once my report book has been created, I can look at the different fields that are in the report book to make sure that everything looks correct. And then once I am confident that everything looks correct, I can either print the report using the print button or I can save the report as a PDF using the save button and selecting the location on my hard drive where I would like to save that report. For more information on how to use the advanced variety placing tool or the place seed products tool, please go to the Pioneer Sales Training and Development Portal under Services and Systems, Pioneer Field 360 Studio Software are where the quick reference sheets are located. If you are looking for a summary in tabular format, one exists under print and then product placement. So again, if you're looking for something that's more of a tabular or spreadsheet format, go to print product placement report. And that creates a product summary report for you showing the field farm and field name, the acres total, and the units to be planted of each product in your field-by-field -field plan.